Rogers. And this is my presentation of my blog, Horse Haven. As you can see, I am an avid horse lover. This picture here is a photo of me, my wife, and my son, and our two horses, Honey and Coco. I want to begin with my market research. One of the marketing research that I used involved keyword search to utilize SEO in my posts. I also work to analyze my competition and find my niche specifically with beginners to horseback riding. I did research on my demographic and the type of audience that I would like to attract to my blog. I also looked for trends on social media as well as Google. Then I went to, to really focus on my competitive research. And I found that there are, there are many competitors in the horse industry. Because of this, I have decided to set, set myself apart by targeting beginners specifically. I want to share content and choose SEO keywords that will help those who are new to horseback riding. I have included widgets on my site to encourage email subscribing to build our horse haven community and increase my reach with viewers. I will also set myself apart by using paid social media advertising on Facebook. This is an area of advertising that many of my competitors seem to be lacking. So speaking on my target market specifically, I went over the demographics and I am looking to target an audience that is either looking at purchasing a horse for the first time or wanting to begin riding horses for the first time. I felt this would be an older demographic that would have enough money to support this hobby. I did not determine between male or female because it was an opportunity and interest with people. So now let me head over to my blog and show you that. This is the whole page of my blog. This page features my first widget that pops up with the message, keep in touch. When you close that widget, you are then able to see the design template and layout that I chose. Also, to navigate through the different pages of my blog, the bottom features a footer with my social media links, and then those take you directly to my personal accounts. You can see my posts as you scroll down through the home page. I also have three other pages. The first is the About Me page. When you click on this page, it pulls up a widget for a sale on horseback. After closing that widget, you can see the paragraph of how Horse Haven began and also showing my About Me video. The next page is the FAQ page, the Frequently Asked Questions. This page contains some common questions and includes links to blog posts I've created to help answer these questions that are frequently presented. The last page is the contact page. This page pulls up a widget to submit your email and join our community of horse lovers. When you close the widget, you can see a place to contact me with a message or a question. Going back to my home page now, you can see my blog posts. If we click into the post titled, the horseback riding equipment, every beginner needs, you can see a link to a site that shows popular brands of saddles to help my followers with their tag purchases. Three of my blog posts have these links to other sites that viewers can click on. If we click into the post titled, How to Care for Your Horse, you can see the how-to video at the top of the page. And this is a how to saddle a horse video that I've presented myself. I've included a breakdown of the video for my viewers to, break, to read in the post. Now going back to my PowerPoint.
I want to show the metrics for Horse Haven. While it's newly published, I have had three site views so far. However, I have had one contact fill out their emails and subscribe to my comment, my content. I've had a hundred percent visitor retention according to Wix Next. Next, I will go over the plan I have created for engagement. I have specifically created widgets to encourage my site viewers to subscribe with their email and join our community. I have also used SEO to target words that new horse owners will be searching for. I included another widget that shows a sales promotion on horse tag that can drive sales through, through networking and marketing. This partnership is something that would also help drive eyes to my site. I want to utilize the advertising on social media, specifically Facebook, because it appeals to an older demographic that will likely be looking into content like mine specifically. In conclusion, I have learned a lot about creating content and utilizing social media marketing and the creation of my blog. While horses are a passion of mine, I learned that it can sometimes be difficult to translate that passion into an online format. I am excited to share my love for horses with others and see if just how I can grow this blog through my marketing tactics. Thank you for watching.